So, wir sind wieder da und diesmal bin ich mal wieder im Stream hier und mit mir ist Mathieu von La Boîte de Jeux. La Boîte de Jeux, ja. The Game Box, uh, the Spiel uh, Boxen. Ah, okay. Das Spiel <lacht> Die Brettspielschachtel auf, auf Deutsch, ein französischer Verlag natürlich. Und äh, er hat dabei Outlive. So, Outlive. Can you tell us about what is it? Yes. In a uh, nutshell. In a nutshell, it's a resource management type of game. So, German type of game. Uh, mm. But with a very strong theme. Uh, yes. And we want people to immerse in this post apocalyptic world uh, where uh, they will feel the struggle. Uh, to survive. Yeah. So the game will last uh, six turns, which represent days within the game. Um, your shelter is starting to collapse. You have mm. some leaking of radioactivity. Okay, I see. So uh, exactly. just to get it on the detail, my board is like... Uh, it's an underground shelter where you have find shelter. refuge. Okay, so this is the entrance. And exactly. Here I have, uh, and so the, the world is kind of poisoning. Uh, poison uh, it, it's and radioactive outside, and you have survived uh, underground. But now you have the feeling that your shelter will won't last long. So your only long-term uh, hope for survival is a convoy, which okay. is a traveling organization that will come in the area in six days, and you will have to, you will have six days to prove yourself worthy enough to join this convoy. Uh, instead of the four other tribes that uh, occupy this area. It's so game to two to four player where you, where you will embody one of these tribes and where you will try to survive. Um, each turn is uh, split into two phases. Day phase on the outside, on the main board here, where you will gather resources, collect equipment, uh, scavenge cities. Ah, hunt. This is equipment here, exactly. just, just to say like, like this, a backpack. Or uh, ah, metal a metal det detector, yeah. Metal detector. But there are weapons so, as well here. I see. Exactly, there is some. It's helped you to unbetter uh, these nasty creatures that ah, okay. has so spread they are around the world. Radioactive animals. Exactly. Um, so you need to do this in order to get enough resources to handle your shelter during the second phase of the turn, the night phase, where you will try to develop your shelters. You will need to feed your survivors here. Uh, you will need to under radioactivity over there. You will need to recruit new survivors. Uh, you will need to build rooms in order to get some effects that can help you to survive better. And you will be able to fix the equipment you will find on the, on the outside because they are broken at first. Okay. So the idea of the game is that you're always going to struggle with uh, what you need to do and what you will really able to do. Um, it's not a worker placement type of game. Okay. Uh, it's a worker displacement type ah, of okay. game. So it's quite uh, new in that sense where all of players have four heroes, which mm -hmm. yeah. have different values. Okay, Their three, values, four, yeah, five, and okay. five. This value is their ability to perform actions. Uh, so a three can collect three microchips, for instance, a five, five. Okay. Um, but this is also their strength. What does it mean? It means when you are on a location and someone with the higher strength come to, you, to, to this location, let's say here a five against a three, you will put pressure on the other ones. Mm -hmm. uh, and you will put a level of pressure that's equal to the difference between the two, play, the two values. Uh, what does it mean in outlive? It means that you will be able to steal from the other. You can handle pressure by spending ammunition that you can get on the military base over there. You have one on your shelters. Mm -hmm. And if you want to feel the pressure, you can spend this ammunition. So you have to think about where to move in order to be or not be submitted to the pressure. But you have constraints in your movement. And this is uh, the interesting part of the game. You can't move to a location where there is already someone of your own color. Ah, okay. And you can move only one or two locations from your current location. And when I don't have this ammunition, what happens if I got under pressure can't handle? Well, you will have to get two of your resources, ah, okay. one of your choosing, to the opponent. Ah, okay. He so it's not very, me. Exactly. But mm. you, you have to choose, you get to choose uh, the resources. Okay. So, for instance, if I'm red, I want to play red. 
there you have already players here and here and here. So the only possibility for me is to move here, one or two locations away from my current location. Mm -hmm. okay. So if I want to go there, first I will need to move my five and then move my three. So I have to think about the tempo of my moves. And how moves. is the winner resolved? Uh, what do you mean as a winner? Well, you oh, will get winner, points okay. yeah. according to uh, different axes. Uh, the objects you will fix, one point. Okay. If you find matching equipment, matching symbols, with two objects you will get an extra point. You will get points uh, with your survivors, one point per survivors. You will gain points through the events you will be able to resolve. Ah, okay. Uh, These this are kind of uh, like little objectives. Uh, yes, exactly. But actually it's not much more than something you need to handle than objective Otherwise to score points. Exactly. It's have an impact on the game, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. So, and uh, this is now uh, out or? Uh, it will be released in February, beginning okay. of March 2017. So, yeah, it's a, it's a it has been kickstarted and yes. we are opening uh, the pledge manager next week. And it will okay. be open to let pledgers. So, if people want uh, to pledge the game, they still can do this. Okay. And there is even a collector version that I was not able to bring here. Yeah, Unfortunate, okay. but it okay. exists. Thank you very much. You're welcome. That was very, uh, very nice. Wir machen jetzt eine kurze, kurze Pause, Umbau und es geht dann weiter mit einer... Ja, äh, wir schieben was ein, was wir gar nicht in der Planung hatten. Äh, seid einfach mal kurz gespannt. Dreams and Shadows heißt das Spiel. Bis gleich.